NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to solve a gate question related with the permanent magnet moving coil meter reading. First, I am going to explain about the permanent magnet moving coil meter reading concept. Okay, then we will solve a gate question. Permanent magnet moving coil meter reads and display the average value of the input signal. Okay, if the input signal is given, it calculates the average value and display the uh, average value of the input signals. Okay. So, we should know how to calculate the average value if the continuous signal waveform representation is given or mathematical expression is given. Okay. First, I will explain the how to calculate the average value for the continuous signal. Okay. If the number 1, 2, 3, 4 is given, uh, what will be the average value of the number? The average value is we have to count all the values and divided by total number of count that will be the average value. So, uh, here 1, 2, 3, 4, the 4 values, we have to add all the values, divided by total count is 4. So, average value is 2.5, okay. If the input is repeated, for example, here the 1, 2, 3 values are repeated up to the infinite, okay. So, the average value, uh, we have to add all the values up to infinite, divided by number of count is infinite. So, totally, uh, the values will be infinite by infinite. This is the wrong one. Okay, this is indefined one, this is wrong one. The signal is repeated. We have to add up to the repetitions. So here 1, 2, 3 values only repeated. So we have to add up to up to read. 1 plus 2 plus 3, the count is 3. So totally the average value will be 2. That is correct one. Similarly, for the continuous signal, we have to add the signals up to the period. Uh, divided by period is equal to the average value. Okay. So here the signal is continuous signal. Uh, how to add? the addition continuous addition is the integration okay so here average value is 0 to 10 we have to add up to the 0 to 10 the continuous addition is integration uh, continuous addition of the average signal is integration so integration integration of 0 to 10 the value is phi sin t this is sine signal so phi sin t the value is phi sin, phi sin t divided by period this is the average value okay so r this is the area of, area of the signal up to the period. Area of the signal up to the period with reference to 0. Okay, with reference to 0, we have to find the area of the signal up to the period. Due to period is the average value. Okay. For example, another one signal is given here. The period is not 10 because, because it does not repeat after 10 seconds. It starts to repeat after 25 seconds. Okay. So, uh, the period for the signal is 25. Okay. But the values up to 0 to 10, the value is 3. But 10 to 25, the values are minus 1. Okay. So, here average value, we have to add, add continuous add from 0 to 25. The integration. Integration of 0 to 10, the value is 3. Plus 10 to 25, the value is minus 1 dt. Due to period is 25. This is the average value. Okay. That is equal to area of 1 with reference to 0, area of the signal 0 to 10 plus area of 2, 10 to 25 divided by period. Okay. This is the concept for the average value calculation for the continuous uh, signal if the waveform representation is given. Okay. Now we will solve a gate question. Okay. In this question, uh, the continuous current signal is given. If the current signal is passed on the permanent magnet moving coil type ammeter, what will be the meter reading? Okay. This question is asked in K2017 Instrumentation Engineering. The same type of question we may expect in Electrical Engineering and also Electronics Communication Engineering Department. We know that the permanent magnet moving coil type meter will read the average value of the signal. Okay. For the calculation of average value, here the period for the signal is 2 seconds because the signals starts to repeat for every 2 seconds. Okay. Here, for method 1, average value is area 1 with reference to 0, area 1 and area 2. Okay. Here, um, area 1 is a triangle. So, area for the triangle is of big H. Okay. Here, base, base is 0 to 1. 1. Height is 1. Okay. So, the area of the part, area 1 is 0.5. For area 2, this is a rectangle. So, for area of the rectangle is LB, length into width. Here, length is 1 and width is 1. Okay. Uh, so, minus 1. So, area is minus 1. 
So to average value is equal to area 1 plus area 2 divided by period. Area 1 is 0.5, area 2 is minus 1, divided by period is 2. So answer is minus 0.25 ampere. Okay. For method 2, uh, period is 2 seconds. So for the values between 0 to 1 is a straight line. Okay. So here this point straight line formula, 2 point formula. Here the point is 0, 0, this point is 1, 1. Okay. So straight line equation is y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. Okay. So i of t is equal to t. Here when t is equal to 1 second, the i of t value is 1. When t is equal to 0.5, the i of t value is 0.5. When t is equal to 0, i of t value is 0. It is correct. Okay. Directly you may write or otherwise you may calculate by using the straight line formula y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. Here y is i of t, x is t. Okay. So values between 1 to 2 is a constant one, minus 1, constant value minus 1. So the average value we have to add up to the 0 to 2. We have to continuously add up to the period. Okay, so 0 to 1, the value is t and 1 to 2, the value is minus 1 divided by period 2. Okay, so the average value is minus 0.25 ampere. Okay, both the method gives the same answer. So the answer is minus 0.25 ampere. Okay, okay, thank you.